what's up techies i'm going to teach you in this session how to secure an rtp session as we all know that the remote desktop protocol is one of the most vulnerable technologies out there and i want to teach you how you can make your rtp session secure so that hackers cannot compromise your session now there are so many ways that you can secure an rtp session but i'm going to teach you two of the simplest ones um you could change the default port so that the server is sent on a different port other than the default one and you can change the rules so that the policies so that the administrators can't access um, your server through RDP and only remote desktop users can access the other things that you can do to secure your server maybe you can access it through a VPN or you can have a lockout policy and so many other things but these two that I'm teaching you are very effective as well just changing the default port and removing administrators from accessing it so let's get into it I'm going to get into my server here which I've already opened and um, and I will get into it right away so the first thing is you need to go to control panel you need to create a new account call it something like rdp rdp user give it a nice password Uh -oh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Then this user that you have just created, you need to add them to the rdp users so you need to open the administrative tools and within administrative tools you need to go to computer management and then go to local users and groups and go to groups and if you go to administrators here you will see that the administrator account is there now normally you would add the new account you have just created here but that would make them an administrator as well and remember if a hacker gets into your server and they have the administrator account they can create themselves another account and then they will lock you out of your computer out of your server i mean so the best thing is to make sure that the rdp session is only accessed by a different group of users who can't do administrative tasks so we won't add him under administrators so just cancel that go to remote desktop and add the user you just created here perfect the next step then is you need to remove um you need to remove your administrator you need to remove the administrator from the permit you need to remove the permission from logging in using remote desktop so you go to local policies user rights assignment allow login through Rexo and remove the administrator from there So what that means is that the administrator account cannot log in using remote desktop. Then 
the next thing we need to change the default port and for that we have to play around with the registry edit so just type reg edit here go to the registry then you go to local machine um, you go to system current control set control then you go to terminal sub so terminal server then you go to win stations here and RTP TCP then you want to look for the port and it's alphabetical so it's easy you want to look for the port number which is right here it's in hexadecimal if you know the value of whatever you want in hexa you can go right away here but you can change to decimal which is easier the default port for RDP is 3389 but everyone knows this so the hackers know this so you need to change this to something random but another port that is not used by normal services like SMTP or HTTPS but just any other port so maybe I'll change mine to 4000 Okay, but this is still not the end. If you leave it at that, the server will not connect. So you need to open that port. So you need to go to firewall settings and you need to open that port. So you go to inbound rules, you create a new rule, it's a port, the port you just created 400. For those that I mean, then you just click all the way to the end and then just name it. And with those simple steps, you have removed the administrator from logging in and you've changed the default port. You have to restart your server for these effects to take place. now i will show you what happens if we try to log in to the server again this is the ip so it will refuse the connection because it's trying to connect with the default port but we just changed that exactly so you have to give it the port number for that and now it connects but remember we also changed something else administrators cannot log in that's why it's telling you it's failed to log in because admins cannot log in so now you need to log in with a different account which we did which was um rdp underscore user and that logs in so what that means administrators cannot log in and the default port has been changed even if a hacker was to hijack your session there's nothing much they can do because they will try to create themselves as a user. So they will come to control panel. They will try to add themselves. And they'll manage another account, but they will need to give the password. But then they don't know it. So they will be stuck. So thank you so much for watching. That's the simple ways you can protect your RDP session. There are much more ways out there, but those two should, should do for now. Thank you so much for watching.